First question is from Greg Hunter. So Alex, you've had really nice production so far this year. Um, first of all, go back to the last couple of years. What, was it frustrating you didn't get those same opportunities, that same production, and, and, and why are you better, different this so far this season? Um, it was definitely frustrating uh, dealing with those ankle injuries and not being able to play at my full potential was definitely frustrating. But this year was uh, thanks to COVID. I had a lot of time to really work on myself and focus on the thing I need to get better at on my own. And that was really the really the turning point from last year to this year was just me dialing and figuring out what I need to get better at. Okay, we'll go to Kevin Kinder. Alec, I know the coaches told you that they wanted you to be more elusive, you know, cause more missed tackles in the open field. That seems like one of those easy things to say, but hard to do. I mean, you know, a lot of us aren't going to just start making tacklers miss. What are the things that you worked on to try to develop that ability? Well, the first thing is just believing that you can do it. Um, I always knew I could do it. It was just, like I said before, it was just I didn't have the opportunities to really show that I can do it. So this year we really emphasize on every time you get the ball, anybody in front of you, the first person can't tackle you, and good luck to the second person. Just really working on emphasizing making that first person miss. We'll go to Sean Manning. Go ahead, Sean. Hey, Alec. Uh, prior to last year, had you really returned punts before? And uh, Coach Brown had mentioned he'd like to see uh, a little bit of improvement there from you. This season, uh, what do you feel like you have to do to get better in the punt return game? Um, I have returned punts before. Uh, I was a punt returner in high school. When I got here, I was like probably the third, maybe fourth backup for punt return. But just moving forward, just taking more chances, um, really having an understanding of where my blocking is going to be, where the most space is, and just getting vertical and getting the most yards I can. Going now to Cody Nesper. Hey, Alec, um, when we've talked to Letty this year, he's mentioned that his big thing over the offseason was improving his relationship with the O-linemen. Is that something that you were focused on too, and w what benefits does that have? Um, I definitely was focused on that, but I felt like me and the O-line always had a good connection, and just getting on the same page football-wise and just creating a mentality to where we have to get better than we were last year. And that was really the main focus. We always had – that kind of connection between the running back and the old line room, but as a as a both groups came together, we just wanted to be better as a whole. Next is Greg Hunter. So back to, to punt return a little bit. It's got to be incredibly scary. I mean, can you peek at guys coming down, or you just have to focus on the ball and pray that nobody is really <laughs> right on top of you? And then the, when the thing that happened with Bryce last last game. Um, is there any communication that you can have with him, or is that just one of those bad breaks? Um, it's definitely, at some point, nerve-wracking, I guess. But you get, you get a chance to peek between the ball leaving the punter's foot and once it's in the air, you can peek a couple of times. But the thing with Bryce, that was just a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing. Uh, Baylor's punter did a really good job hanging the ball up there, and it was just a bad, bad ball all around. But... Usually you don't see things like that happening. Um, punt return is something you got. It takes a lot of focus, and it's it's all about timing. So Baylor did a good job of throwing our timing off as a return team. We'll go to Carly Nevis. Alec, how much do you and Letty push each other, and how are your games similar, and how what do you add that he doesn't have, and vice versa? Um, I don't, I wouldn't say we really focus on pushing each other, but. He sees how I work, I see how he works, and it's kind of like a building off each other. We don't want to let each other down. So if I'm going 100%, he has to go 100% because that's the standard we hold each other to. And I think I'm, I bring more of a, you know, excitement and electricity to the, to the party, and he's more of the power and the ground and pound. So we kind of, we do definitely work good, great together. Go ahead, Kevin. Following up on the making people miss thing, were there specific moves you worked on, you know, stutter steps, you know, jab spins, things like that? Or anybody's film that you watched to, you know, get ideas and pointers? I mean, I, of course you watch your favorite NFL players and stuff like that and 
you know, you kind of get ideas and things from them. But making moves is just instincts. You know, you play what you see, and whatever happens, happens. You win some, you lose some. But the main focus was just winning more than you, you, than you lose in the open field. And, Greg, we'll go back to you. So, Alex, give us a little bit of a, a coaching look at the guys behind you, some of the young running backs. So what, what do you see from them? What, what do you expect from them in the future? Uh, I honestly think those – Tony and Sparrow is kind of kind of like me and Letty. Sparrow is very electric. He's fast. He has great feet. And Tony is strong. He's going to break a lot of tackles on contact. He's going to have a, a lot of yards after contact. Um, with those two, they both are hard workers, uh, both from the state of Florida. It's just they have they have great and bright uh, futures moving forward, and I'm I'm really excited to see how those two grow into Big 12 backs. Honestly, they're going to be they're the next two greats. To you, Cody. So Alec, I was just curious. Um, since the running game has been better this year, just how's the overall mood in that room? Like, is it is it more fun this year to you know go to practice and prepare for things now that you're having success as opposed to last year uh i think when it comes to practice and preparing it's always fun but we still have that mindset of we're definitely not anywhere close to where we want to be and we're not anywhere we have a lot of we still have a lot to improve on so we're still in that mindset of working to get better and working to, to continue to prove people wrong go ahead mike Alec, how's it going? Great, how are you? I'm doing great too, thank you. Um, something um, that's kind of like making people miss, but a little bit different because sometimes it's your own guys, <laughs> is, um, is running out on screens. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're trying to blend in a little bit more. I know you're not new to receiving, but uh, that could be improvisation sometimes too because those big guys aren't quite as fast as you and you need their help. Um, what's the, the play and the patience of process like when you catch one of those and you got to set everything up and make it work? Oh, uh, it's just patience. You can't be too excited to get upfield or too excited to make something happen. You have to allow the the lineup to make their blocks and allow the defense to show really how they're gonna attack you on in an instance. Or just it's just really allowing things to unfold in front of you before you make your decision on where to go and what to do. <laughs> 